Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on Jenny 69 her lash collection called Batty B. Um, they just came into the mail so I'm super excited. I've been try trying to like tear it open but I thought why not do like an eye look doing the lashes. So when I first saw the collection the first uh, the first thing that really caught my attention was the name of the lashes. I thought that they were pretty cool. Um, I didn't get all four just because they were a little, I don't know, they're kind of expensive. I really thought they were going to be like 14 or maybe $18, but when she said under $20 and it was $19, I was like, whoa, like, that's a lot. Like, everybody got bills to pay and can't be spending that much money. But I did get three because I couldn't decide and I was only supposed to get two, but I was like, hmm, just going to splurge a little. Okay, yeah, this packaging is like extra hard to remove. Okay, there we go. But they're all pretty, and I feel like what got me was the names of the lashes. Cute. And the packaging, too, like they're super pretty, so I'm gonna read the little paper. Okay, yeah, it's just. Not important. I thought she wrote me a cute little message or something. <laughs> no, I'm not that special, but um. Okay, so the first one that's inside the packaging is Sugar Baby. So it looks like that. And the packaging is really pretty. And so is the logo back here. And that's how they look. These ones are actually really pretty. And I am not one to wear like crazy thick eyelashes and I feel like these are pretty thick. I would never really lean towards these that's why I was I was thinking this one and fuck boy we're gonna be like like a lighter like not so heavy so I'm kind of scared because I don't know but they're really pretty like the dimension like I don't know if you guys can see they're really pretty but they're really thick and I feel like the band is super thick too like you would have to wear eyeliner with them because they wouldn't look natural or they wouldn't not like natural i mean of course they're not gonna look natural but they wouldn't look i don't know good like without eyeliner i feel like you have it's a must so that's sugar baby and it's cute i don't know the packaging is really cute i'm always with the dodo ones like i don't even want to show you guys because it's like nasty but it's like old glue all over it Anyway, the next one is Fuckboy. So this one I was pretty excited for because I wanted to get one natural looking-ish one and then one like dramatic one. Um, so the light one that I really, really wanted was Fuckboy. And it's funny because now that I'm looking at them, like they're not natural looking. They're pretty dramatic looking actually. And this is how it looks like. It's really, really beautiful. But I did hear that like I don't know like if you guys saw on Instagram but everybody was kind of like saying like oh go to AliExpress or whatever like that they're cheaper but it's like I don't know I mean I don't really know of like mink lashes I don't really buy mink lashes because yeah they are pretty pricey but to me they feel the same as like dodo lashes maybe just a little softer no you know what let me feel some dodo lashes right now because I feel like they feel the same to me. Yeah. And I don't know if Dodo lashes. Let me see. If they're. I think they're human hair. Oh, no. They're mink. They're mink lashes. It's weird, though, because everybody says that you can get mink lashes. Uh, like, like, they're always going to be more pricier if you want to get them. But Dodo lashes are mink lashes. And those ones are only $12. So, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, like they are similar to me to Dodo lashes just because of like the layering of the eyelashes and it sucks. Oh, maybe I can take it out to show you guys. No, it's in there really good. And then I have fake nails. So, okay, wait. Okay, there we go. But I feel like, 
I don't know if you guys can see the dimension. No? Mm-mm. Like, it's like layers. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's really pretty. I love it. But this one, I don't know. The, la the lash band is pretty thin, but I still wouldn't wear it without eyeliner because I feel like it's still pretty thick and out there like the hairs are really long they're really beautiful but I I didn't I wasn't expecting what I wanted when I saw them I was like oh when I just saw them right now like I don't know like they're really really thick they're beautiful but it's like I don't know like I want them for like a natural look but I guess I'm gonna have to go a little crazy now but I'm excited to wear them all because they're really pretty. And I feel like my favorite one so far is Sugar Baby. And that's the one that I least wanted. Like, I was like, I always saw the online picture and I was like, oh, like, it's whatever. I'll just, I'll just add it to the cart. I was like, it's not the cutest. And the last one that I got was Batty, of course. I was stuck between Batty and Instaho just because they're kind of similar. I just believe Instaho is darker. To try these ones out but now i'm torn between these ones um i think i'm gonna let dog decide let me see if he'll come okay ben come okay so here's benjamin and i'm gonna let him decide which lashes i should go for so i have batty towards him and sugar baby towards me so i don't know how i should do it i'm probably just gonna do it like this to him so sugar baby over here towards y'all ben which one no which lash no pick a lash pick a lash okay so he licked baddie so baddie's the one so i'm excited because this is the one that i was actually looking forward to um but when it came in the mail, now I'm like, ooh. So he chose this one, Batty. So I'm excited for this. And I kind of want to do like a makeup look that Jenny would wear, like with her lashes and everything. All right, I'm going to put Dog down because he's like falling asleep. Yeah, you don't do anything, huh? You don't do anything. And you're just tired, huh? You're the big boy. All right, <laughs> go. I kind of want to do like a Jenny look, but I don't know. I kind of just want to be creative and different. I kind of want to use glitter. I kind of don't. Um, ba -ba -ba. So maybe, I don't know. I'll think as I go, but I'm going to go ahead and start. I already uh, used my CeraVe as my lotion for primer. So now I'm going to go in, I was primer as a hydrating lotion, cream, whatever. And I'm going to use the Cover FX Blurring Primer. Now I'm going to most likely try to fast forward most of this stuff because I just want to get to the lashes. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, the, I don't know what happened. Uh, the battery died. I don't know why it dies. Like I charge it and I don't know, it's weird. I'm looking and I'm like, my brows are a little different. Now I'm getting really itchy. Okay. Um, so I was right here. I just put some MAC powder underneath my eyes right here. And just to really brighten up my under eyes. I try to wipe off some of that glitter, but I feel like I'm adding more glitter.
I'm only applying the powder where I get oily, so that's just like my nose. The T-zone area up here. And right here. And I don't like to put concealer because enough as it is, I already look pale. And this is not my actual skin tone. I don't know why this color appears so light on me. But it just does and I feel like it's not really my color. But uh, I fixed it with a bronzer. Hey, <laughs> hey. So if I could just find... Okay, so I'm going to use my bronzer brush. And I'm going to take my MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. The shade is so pretty. And I'm just going to apply it right here. And I feel like this brush had a lot of glitter too on it. Okay, and then I'm going to bronze up my nose area just a little bit. Underneath my lips to make them look bigger. I'm going to contour right here. My edges. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have that done, that's just bronzer. Now I'm going to go in with a contour palette. I'm going to use the Tarte Pro Glow. I don't know. it. This came in my FabFitFun one. And I'm going to use the shade Sculpt. Oh, Sculpt. This one. And it smells like chocolate. And I'm curious. Um, it does not taste like chocolate. Because the Too Faced products, those ones actually taste like chocolate. I don't know if you guys have ever tried it, but it tastes pretty good. Okay, I underestimated this color. Like, I thought it was going to be light, and it's, it's not. Now, I don't really like this Tarte palette, and I'm going to stop using it because it doesn't even blend out the colors. Like, how I like it. I'm going to use my Lorac one, and I'm going to use the, the medium color right here. Ooh, my mirror is so dirty there, too. do some circular motions around the cheekbones and now I'm gonna do some if I forgot my lip liner too I, it. I have some chapstick on underneath I should probably wipe off I don't know. okay I can't even see out of this mirror So I'm going to do my lip liner in Prestige. This is natural. This one's really, really pretty. And uh, most of the time when I wear it, I don't even put lipstick over it. I just put chapstick over it. And I line my lips. The bottom part, I line them a little bit over-exaggerated. Just a little bit because I like big lips. Because my lips aren't that big. With the top lip, I won't exaggerate. I 
I won't exaggerate the top lip because and then I just do little lines like this just to fill it in um I don't like to exaggerate the top lip because then it looks like like my lips don't look natural and I still want that natural look and then what I like to do is take an angled brush and this one's from Aesthetica I don't know just like this is I don't know I feel like this one's cheap that I would never use this as an eyeliner brush it's so thick but I just have it lean around and I like to blend out my line with this brush the concealer not the concealer the lip liner and keep it natural See, like, if I go over, it's not too bad. Although this side looks cray-cray. Like I'm gonna just... And then a mistake that I feel like everybody does, I know I do a lot, is some... Or maybe it's just me. I think it's just me. I don't really hide it on right there. Like I should. And that's pretty much it for the lips. Just like a pretty nice natural color. And then highlight. Highlight's the last thing. And I'm gonna try not to go too crazy because this is a really bold, bold lip. Um, so I'm gonna just take my fan brush, spray some of this coconut rose water all over it. And then I'm going to take, I don't know if I should take Whimsical. Or, I'm kind of feeling this pretty purple color right here. It's called New Dawn. And I'm going to swipe this and carve it and pack it. And I'm only going to put it right here, this area. The mistake that I always do is I drag it in too far and then it looks too crazy. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, now for like the final, final, like actual, like, hold up. <laughs> My final thoughts of the Betty B lashes. I mean, yeah, they're pretty, the name's cute, but I don't think it's necessary to buy all of them. I feel like if you just stick to maybe like one or two then yeah but I don't know I just feel like it's um I think it's fuckboy and sugar baby like the lash band is way too thin so I know those aren't gonna last the 25 times and if that's what you're looking for um I feel like you can get maybe like because I've seen those styles and I feel like I've I, I to be honest like I've seen them somewhere else not like somewhere somewhere else but I feel like fuckboy is like there's a similar one to the dodo lashes or it's sugar yeah no it's fuckboy fuckboy there's like a dupe um or maybe it's a dodo dupe or maybe it's a jenny dupe i don't know or maybe i don't know it's just a similar style but to me they look so similar so i feel like if you don't want to spend that much money yeah there's cheaper options but i feel like it's more like to support her or like 
yeah her brand is pretty good i mean don't get me wrong but i mean 20 dollars is kind of pricey for the mink lashes when i just realized i didn't know that dodo lashes were mink they were yeah they're mink i thought that they were just like human hair um but yeah i mean like would i personally buy them again i feel like i would only restock on like maybe one pair i don't think i would buy all three again um because it was pretty pricey even with shipping and all that but they're pretty i mean maybe yeah just like once in a while um maybe keep these like to go out or something or you know for like special occasions but yeah i don't i don't know if i would get like all of them although i was curious to get insta ho because <laughs> i saw somebody else wearing them and i was like oh my god they're so pretty but no nah, i mean i'm chill with the ones that i have right now and maybe in the future i'll go ahead and try out insta ho but for now i'm pretty satisfied with the ones that i have and i'm pretty sure that i'll keep using them but to buy all of them i don't know maybe if they came in that pretty box then yeah but those are for only special people <laughs> or like the people she knows or whatever the ones that she sends them to but yeah i mean like if i were to rate it like out of a 10 i would do an 8 like an 8 just because i know that they're not going to last that long because of the lash band and the price i feel like the price is I don't know I feel like it, it was a joke like when she said $20 and she's like always under $20 and she still posts it too and I'm like oh okay like it'll be like what 12 14 and when it came out to 19 I was like oh but I still bought them <laughs> they're pretty but they're pretty expensive so I mean I think that's the only reason why and the lash band but I mean besides that they are comfortable I do feel like they are a lot lighter than dodo lashes um if I have to choose between this pair and the pair of dodo lashes that I have that I have been wearing like the last month I would actually choose uh, the Batty B lashes because they are really really light and I feel like I could wear these like all night long and they won't really bug me and even as I'm looking like around usually the dodo lashes like they'll bug me on the inner corner and, and these ones don't bug at all like I can look down I can look up and no they don't bug they feel nice and they're really really like considering how heavy they are um plus i feel like i'm gonna get sunshade when i walk outside right now because i feel like it's still daylight uh, but yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and start doing my hair because i can't go out looking like this but yeah let me know what you guys think down at the comments below and thank you for watching bye bye <laughs>